at Soundcheck Studios. I'm Brian Farquhar. We're here with John Hudak from Brickwall Jackson. Uh, he is the songwriter, lead guitar player, and one of the singers of the band. How you doing today, John? Doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Thank you for spending your Sunday with us. Uh, we were checking out our brand new microphone system for wireless microphone system, I, I have to add, for the acoustic guitar. Uh, here at the studio, and he was comparing it to his LR Bags. And what was the model of the LR? Uh, LR Bags M1. It's the Passive. The Passive M1. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, what you thought um, A and B comparison between the microphones and pickups. Well, the the Bags was louder, but hands down, uh, your system was much more authentic sounding, and it reproduced the low end in a way that I think is, I mean, you couldn't really tell the difference. Standing in front of the amp, versus uh, standing in front of the acoustic guitar. It was it was a one-to-one -one comparison in terms of the, the, the frequency range and the, the dynamics and whatnot. I mean, it was definitely, uh, I was impressed. I mean, it, I've, I've never heard uh, particularly a wireless solution sound that good with an acoustic instrument. Right, yeah, that's that's the kicker, is you have the freedom of motion. So if you are on stage, you don't, you're not tied to anything. Yeah. Um, like uh, couldn't have come in a moment too soon because we, we've got a lot of... Um, acoustic numbers on the new record and yeah, they're great you know i've been sweating bullets since <laughs> we we finished up like man how am i going to reproduce this live right because you know i had a couple of other guitars that came with onboard electronics and first of all i didn't like the way they sounded acoustically just you know i feel like that all that extra plastic and everything just really robs the guitar of its tone and then i i, I you know i course didn't like the way they sounded uh when they were plugged in either right and without spending you know thousands of dollars on you know a multi-source system with you know preamps and my own little pa to haul around which i can't do right. um just practically i mean you know i'm already hauling around what five gretches and several you know yeah. fender amps <laughs> you know um and a wawa so uh you know i don't have room to carry all that stuff this was a, a great solution and it works well with the fishman amp yeah. So I'm really excited about the fact that it sounds very authentic, and also it won't because it's the same guitar that was used on the record. That right. it, now it's gonna it's gonna sound that way live, and so that that for me is just uh, it just takes a load off my mind. That's one of the main advantages you'll notice from the video. We actually have a custom loot hole cover that mounts the microphone into the guitar, so that way you can universally fit it into any sound hole, so long as it's uh, is at least as big as the microphone, which is what what is it three and a half inches. Three inches. Yeah. So a lot of different size sound holes we can put this thing in. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was the time it took to get it in and out of the guitar. <laughs> that was a big yeah. difference. Yeah. So so most of the other systems that I've dealt with, um, you've got to either clamp something onto the wood, which I don't like to do. I right. mean, and I've like I said, I've got a, a Martin D18, and I love it, and I don't want to mess it up. No, and so a lot of the other systems that you you deal with, including the bags, which the bags is a great pickup. It's the, as far as magnetic pickups goes. I mean, you can't get any better than LR bags, in my opinion. So, right. um, but you still have to clamp those little feet onto the sound hole, and I'm always nervous. You know, am I going to over tighten this? Right. You know, in the heat of the moment, if I'm in a hurry. And yours, it was like 30 seconds. You basically just slide that little wafer in there, mm -hmm. and there's something comforting about knowing there's foam yeah. <laughs> in there. You know, Protect you're not hurting your finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not hurting your baby, you know. Nope. And then, and then the other part that slides in where, with with the mic, uh, it, it was no more difficult than putting a humidifier uh, into right. the the sound hole. You know, those humidifiers that you get for. Uh, now there's an idea. Maybe we should include hum humidification with our microphones. <laughs> if we could figure that one out, then then we'd really be onto something. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're doing all right where you where you are now. I mean, uh, but yeah, it only took about I don't know less than a minute to get it in, and then and then same to get it out, and it and it didn't it didn't move around, it didn't shift around. Um, you know it. There was no pick noise, you know. I mean, it's a microphone, you know, yeah. so it, it it worked great. I mean, I I, I really liked I really liked the tone and, and the fact that it was very authentic. Um, great, yeah. If, if you're if you're using high dollar wood, you want to hear it, right? Yeah, I mean, anybody out there who plays Martin guitars knows they're not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking at an o OM28 now to sort of you know round out the collect. Well, it won't round out the collect. You know, if I could only ever use acoustic instruments, if I could get away with that, uh, even playing you know with Brickwall Jackson and doing the music that I write for, for the band, um, I would do it. I just I've always loved acoustic instruments, and the one frustration, you know, in 34 plus years of playing, has been that I could never find a solution that would um, you know 
ampl- you know, amplify the the acoustic instruments authentically. You know, it, they, they 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 didn't sound musical. They sounded very uh, uh, artificial, very fake. Right. You know, not even not even electric, sort of like halfway between an electric and acoustic. And this sounds exactly like the guitar. It's like you know, when I heard at one point when you guys were over there fiddling with the amp, I couldn't tell whether the amp was even on because you're right. That that's it, a big confusion. You feel the vibration of the guitar, and then you hear the the sound coming at you, and it kind of blends together in a way that just like joins you up. With it, it was wild, man. I mean, I, I've never felt that. I mean, you know, most most of the other solutions that I've well, all of the other solutions I've used. I mean, when that sucker's on, you know it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, but the other thing I noticed too was that, you know, even even though it's a mic, it didn't feed back the way I would expect a mic to feed back. I mean, right. we had a couple little spots, but we were really being for, we were being jerks about for it. We were an trying to hundred twenty watt class D amplifier. We had it. I mean, we were probably pumping what like sixty five, seventy decibels in there. You mean out of the amp? Yeah. yeah. We were close. At least. Yeah, yeah. No, we were definitely at around a hundred dB. Wow. DB 100 dBA. Yeah. We'll measure that, it next time. And that room that room is all padded because we were doing it in your studio. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, live, it would be more than enough for a stage monitor, I, I would think. Oh, yeah. You know? and, and the off switch on the mic is nice. Yes. So if it does start to feed back, you can just flip the switch off. That's, the, that's very nice. Yeah, there's no clicking, no yep. popping sound. Leave it's it just... on the stand until you're ready to use it and turn it on. So, yeah, this is that, very well thought. I, I think, you know, it, it's stuff like this is brilliant. I, I love it when people take things that already exist but 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 put them in a in a new configuration and maybe add a little a few little enhancements but it's a configuration that you know maybe was never thought of before and usually what i find is it's something that makes makes it just that much easier to use um you know music i you know musicians are as much as we love gear we don't typically buy gear that's hard to use, you know. No. I mean, there are very few guitar players out there who actually get up on stage and use, you know, really complex computerized type stuff because, you know, it it, it robs you of being able to get into your performance. Well, John, we would like to thank you for coming in today and trying out our product. Hopefully, well, we'll have one available for you very shortly. It sounds like you're already a customer. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and 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 I I, I appreciate you letting me come down and check it out because I, you know, honestly, um, I've heard a lot of claims about a lot of products you guys are the first ones that uh have have actually delivered i mean i've i've bought pedals that were supposed to be transparent i hate pedals but it's a (laughs) it's a it's a compromise you have to make when you play live because you can't take 15 amps with you on stage unless you're you know rick nielsen or something but uh but you guys are the first ones that were actually i think the product exceeded what you were telling me uh thank you yeah oh it's great i wish you guys a lot of luck and yeah I'm, i'm definitely a customer so um thanks again You're very welcome. We'll see you soon, John. Thank you.